Hello friends, I'm happy to meet you all today in this day of deliverance for the UPSC aspirants. First of all, I want to convey my best wishes and, and want to convey my regards to all the UPSC aspirants who gave their examination. And after the exam is over, the next thing what students will do is to look after for the keys for today's examination. And in this regard, that we come up with a video discussion for the today's preliminary examination 2018 conducted by UPSC across India, uh, a video session for the, key, for the questions asked. Without taking any more time, let us jump start into the discussion now. And in this video session, we will, uh, we will be discussing questions from science and tech and environment areas. Let's start the discussion. Question number two, UPSC is very well known for asking seemingly simple but deceptively confusing uh, questions. And section question number two falls in this category. The leaf modification that occurs in desert areas, which means zero phytic modifications. Hard and waxy leaves. Hard and waxy leaves, uh, usually the leaves in desert plants are very much reduced or leaves are modified into other structures. So hard and waxy leaves, in fact, is not a characteristic feature of desert modifications. Tiny leaves, is it so? Yes, tiny leaves will result in reduced transpiration. And this is, this is usually present in shrubs found in desert areas. So tiny leaves is an adaptation for the shrubs in the desert areas. So it's a correct answer. It helps in reducing the water loss through transpiration. And third, thorns instead of leaves is a classical modification, zero phytic modification of desert plants. So one is wrong, two and three is the correct answer, A. Question number four, the difference between National Green Tribunal and Central Pollution Control Board. NGT has been established by an act, yes, NGT Act 2010, correct? Whereas CPCB has been created by an executive order. Now this is wrong because CPCB is also created as a statutory organization under Water Act 1974. So, and the powers for CPCB is granted under Air Act 1981. It is established by Water Act 1974 and powers are granted through Air Act 1981. So, first statement is wrong because it says CPCB is an executive body which is wrong. Second statement, NGT provides environmental justice, correct? Helps reduce the burden of litigation in higher court, that is also correct. Whereas, CPCB promotes cleanliness of streams and wells through Water Act and aims to improve quality of air in the country through Air Act 1981. So, second statement is correct. B, two only is the correct answer. Question number 17, the identity platform model provides open application interface API. What API is? API is an interface, a point of communication between any two electronic programs, any two programs or any two applications. So these applications, it might be owned by any entity or individuals or it may be openly available in public forums. Now Aadhaar has created many APIs which is open-ended, they are which is openly available in the public uh, forums. So, Aadhaar has an open application, uh, open application programming interface and what is the main use of this? So using this open API, various apps, various applications, various programs can be developed by private uh, uh, app developers which can use the Aadhaar data for various uses. Second statement, online authentication using, using IRIS is possible, that is API available for biometric identification which includes IRIS. So second is correct. It can be integrated into any electronic devices. Uh, API can be used to be integrated into electronic devices is a correct statement, but the word any makes it very ambiguous. But the element of doubt, we are giving it that it is a correct statement. As a, but I, I want to mark it here. Now this is seemingly little ambiguous because it says any electronic devices, but the benefit of doubt is given that it becomes a correct statement. So the answer is both one and two. Question number 26, India enacted GI of Geographical Indications of Goods Act 1999 in order to comply with the obligations of TRIPS. And TRIPS comes under the framework of WTO. The answer is D. Question number 35, with the reference to Global Alliance for Climate Smart Agriculture, what are the statements? 
which are, whether the statements are correct or wrong. GAXA is an out, outcome of climate summit. No, it is an outcome. It was established by Food and Agriculture Organization in the year 2014. So this is a wrong statement. Membership of GAXA does not create any binding obligations. GAXA is a voluntary farmer-led coalition. It's a farmer-led alliance. Because it is voluntary in nature, there are no obligations. So second statement is correct. Third statement, India was instrumental in the creation of GAXA, which is wrong. In fact, India is not even a member into this alliance. So third is wrong because it says India is instrumental. The correct answer is two only. Question number 43, terminal high altitude area defense, which was recently in the news because United States of America have deployed this system in South Korea, which angered Chinese sentiments. So the answer is C, an American anti-missile system as a consequence of rising nuclear aspirations of North Korea. So 43, the answer is C. Question number 55, in which of the following areas can GPS technology be used? GPS technology provides three types of services, position services, navigation services, and timing services. And in the three options given below, Mobile phone operations which immensely uses GPS technology, which uses position, navigation, as well as timing services, correct? Banking operations benefit from GPS technology mainly using the timing services provided, like time stamping financial operations, syncing of servers which are, which are behind the financial transactions. They all depend on GPS technology, controlling the smart grids particularly the emergence of smart grids across the world also uses the time sinking of the electrical output and the input using GPS technology. So all the three are the benefits out of GPS technology. D, 1, 2 and 3 is the correct answer. 57th question, the earth's magnetic field has reversed every few thousand years. Now this is a correct statement. In general, there is a reversal of earth's magnetic field due to the changes in the convective current in the earth's core. But how long it changes? It says few hundred thousand years. Earth's magnetic field usually changes, usually between 0 0.1 to 1 million year. But on an average, every 400,000 years that it undergoes a change. So it says every few hundred thousand, which seemingly fit with this 400,000 years on an average. So first one is correct. Second statement, when the earth was created more than 4,000 million years ago, 4,000 million years ago stands for 4 billion. And what is the time that the earth was created? Approximately 4.5 billion years ago. So because the word ago is here, even 4 billion seems to be correct. But the rest part of the statement, there was 54 percentage oxygen, which is wrong, and no carbon dioxide. As you all are aware, that prehistoric earth did not have oxygen present in the atmosphere and it is present with carbon dioxide, water vapor, ammonia and other nitrogen and other gases. So second statement is wrong because it says oxygen is abundant. Third statement, when living organisms originated, what organism we are speaking about? Blue-green algae. It resulted in the creation of oxygen being released into the atmosphere. So when the living organisms originated, they modified the early atmosphere of the earth. This even approximately seemed to have occurred 3 billion years ago. So third statement is correct. 1 and 3 is the correct answer for this. Question number 59. Another question related to food and agriculture organization because the concept of conservation agriculture is introduced by FAO, Food and Agriculture Organization. The concept of conservation agriculture has three main objectives three main objectives. The first objective is to enable a permanent soil cover. To enable a permanent soil cover. Objective two is a minimum soil disturbance. Minimum soil disturbance by having reduced or no tillage. And third, diversification of crop species. But here, they have given the options indirectly associated with the three objectives. Let's see what are associated. Adopt, adopting minimum tillage is very directly associated with the uh, second objective of conservation agriculture, so it's correct. Using crops residues to cover soil surface is associated with the objective one, so it is also correct. 
Fifth one, adopting spatial and temporal crop se sequencing crop rotations associated with the third objective. But avoiding monoculture practices also speaks about crop rotation. And avoiding the cultivation of plantation crops, which are usually cultivated on a field for a long num many number of years. Even though 1 and 3 seems to be correct, only option 2, or 2, 4 and 5, which are explicitly given in the answer, now it becomes a correct. Now this is what we should be very judicious and careful. Even though 1, 3 and 5 are closely related to each other, the correct answer in fact is 2, 4 and 5. Question number 59, the correct answer is C, 2, 4 and 5. Question number 60, the sixth mass extinction event often on the news. The uniqueness about the sixth mass extinction event is, this is an event mainly driven by human actions, anthropogenic reasons. So the only response to this is given directly in the option D, mankind's over exploitation. So 60th question, the answer is D. 61st question, with the reference to India's IRNSS, consider the following statements. I hope you all are aware that this is, this is the same IRNSS question which was asked two years back. <laughs> IRNSS is a constellation of seven satellites, out of which three will be in geostationary orbit and four will be in geosynchronous orbit, correct. IRNSS covers entire India, it has a pan-India approach, correct. If it is 5500 square kilometers, it would cover the entire Europe and Asia, which is not associated with IRNSS. So second statement is wrong. Third statement, India will have its own navigation system, correct with the full global coverage that makes it wrong because India is a region, IRNSS is a regional navigation system, not a global system. So third statement is wrong. Correct answer is one only. 62nd question, light is affected by gravity. It is true that gravity can bend light. That is the reason why um, um, light cannot escape black holes. So first statement is correct. Light can influence, gravity can influence light. The universe is constantly expanding. Now this is in term is not in any way associated with uh, uh, Einstein's theory of relativity. And not only that, by itself the statement is wrong. Because it has been well known that universe is not undergoing constant and uniform expansion. But rather, universe is undergoing an accelerated expansion due to the presence of dark matter and the dark energy. So second statement is wrong. Matter warps. Warps means bend. It's surrounding space-time. Matter which results in generating gravity and gravity in turn results in bending of space and time. Yes, third statement is correct. 1 and 3 is the correct answer for this. 63rd question. With reference to GM mustard developed in India, consider the statements. The name of the mustard I hope you all know is DMH11, Dara Mustard Hybrid 11. It has the genes of a soil bacterium. What is the name of the gene? bar gene. What is the name of the bacteria? Mycobacteria, um, streptomyces, I'm sorry, streptomyces. That gives the plant the property of pest resistance which is wrong because DMH11 is known to have the property of herbicide resistance, not pesticide, not pest resistance. So it is not giving the pest resistance but it gives herbicide resistance particularly glyphosate. DM, DMH11 is resistant to glyphosate. That is the correct answer. So the first one is wrong. Second statement, the uh, GM mustard allows cross-pollination. Yes, it is true because the natural uh, variety breed available in India has only self-pollination available, which does not help the development of wide variety of different breeds. So to circumvent that, scientists have come up with the genetically engineered variety, which enables cross-pollination. So second statement is correct. And third statement, who developed it? It, is, it was not developed by Indian Agriculture Research Institute or Punjab University. It was developed by Center for Genetic Manipulation of Crop Plants in Delhi University. So Center for Genetic Manipulation of Crop Plants in Delhi University developed it. So third statement is wrong. The correct answer is two only. 63rd question, the correct answer is B. 64th question. It seems to be very easy. Belly 2 is an experiment conducted to investigate bottom quarks. Bottom quarks and this experiment were conducted in Japan. It is not about artificial intelligence, so it is wrong. Blockchain technology it should be very much discussed in the news. It is associated with digital or cryptocurrency, correct? CRISPR-Cas9, it's another widely discussed news. 
it is a, it, it is a DNA enzyme system used for genetic engineering experiments, not associated with particle physics at all. So third is also wrong. The correct answer is two only. 64th question, B is the answer. 65th question, carbon fertilization. What of this, which of the statements is correct? Carbon fertilization means due to anthropogenic emissions, there is a large amount of carbon dioxide being present more in the atmosphere. This increased presence of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere may help the plants to photosynthesize more and hence resulting in a better growth. This is called as carbon fertilization. So which suits this particular definition? 65th question, it is a A which is the correct answer. 66th question, the question is indeed very long. It will take 5 minutes if I read it uh, entirely. And the whole story speaks about internet of things, means devices electronic devices which are interconnected and helps in integration of functionalities. So this is a concept behind internet of things. 66th question B is the answer. 84th question 3D printing. Now 3D printing has applications in which of the following? 3D printing also called as bottom up approach or also called as additive manufacturing has find its applications in all fields in fact. There is no limitation to the 3D printing which is very similar to the inkjet printing. The only difference in inkjet printing, ink is used but in 3D printing each atoms and molecules are constructed on custom basis based on the designs envisaged by the developer. So it finds its application in all the five options given. In fact, it extends even more than this. 84, 84th question, the answer is D. 86th question, why is a plant called Prosophis julifera often mentioned in the news? If you are following the environment current affairs, you should be very well aware of this plant Prosophis julifera, which is a native to Mexico and other South American countries, identified as an invasive alien species across the countries in Asia. So the, what is the main impact of Prosophis julifera? It results in reduction of biodiversity. So the answer is B. 88th question, momentum for change, climate neutral now is an initiative launched by, it is a very direct question, it was launched by UNFCCC secretariat in the year 2015. Question number 95, about PSLV and GSLV, statement 1, PSLV launched the satellites useful for earth resources monitoring, which refers to remote sensing applications or geological information services, yes it is correct. Whereas GSLVs are designed mainly to launch communication satellites, communication satellites being heavy and need to be placed in geostationary satellites, it requires heavy launcher using cryogenic engine which are the factorial point of GSLV. So first statement is very well aptly put, correct statement. Second statement it says satellites launched by PSLV appear to remain permanently fixed in the same position in the sky which is wrong. Permanently fixed in the same position in the sky is a concept associated with geostationary orbit. But many of the satellites launched by PSLV are reaching the low earth orbit which includes either polar orbit or sun synchronous orbit. So both this polar orbit or the sun synchronous orbit does not stay above the same location in the sky, they keep moving. So second statement is wrong. Third statement, GSLV Mark 3 is a four stage, now that is wrong. It is a three stage launch vehicle. So third statement is also wrong. A, one only is the correct answer for this question. Question number 98, the definition of critical wildlife habitat is incorporated in the Forest Rights Act 2006. Section 2B of the act defines what a critical wildlife habitat is. So it's a correct statement. Second statement for the first time in India, biogas have been given habitat rights. Now that is true, in the year 2016, the government of Madhya Pradesh for the first time recognized that biogas have been given the habitat rights in the place where they live. And the conferment of habitat rights is also provided under the same act, Forest Rights Act 2006. According to Forest Rights Act 2006, there are two jurisdictions provided for two ministries. Much of the provisions are implemented by Ministry of Tribal Affairs under the Act, whereas the concept of critical wildlife habitat is to be announced, is to be established by Ministry of Environment and Forests. So there are two jurisdictions available for the two ministries. Union Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change officially decides and declares habitat rights. Now that is wrong because this the power to declare habitat rights is conferred to Ministry of Tribal Affairs under the Act. 
So, third statement is also wrong. 1 and 2 is the correct answer. Question number 99. This is a question about transmission of the plant diseases. The plant diseases can be transmitted either by direct means. Direct means means it can be transmitted by the plant parts, seed, flowers, or the parts of the stem, parts of the root, or can be indirect means. Indirect means can be through vectors. It can be biological vectors, biotic vectors, or abiotic vectors. Biotic vectors, for example, birds and insects. Abiotic vectors, which includes air, water, and all the other factors, the abiotic factors. So here, birds, rain, and wind blowing are considered to be the the important agents responsible for the transmission of the plant diseases. But when we look at 1, 3 and 4 options, there is no option 1, 3 and 4 is available. So even though the dust blowing seems ambiguous, because there is no other combination available, let us go with the option D. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So it, so it, is, it, it is by this 4 means that plant diseases may spread according to this question. Thanks for watching this video and we hope that it helps in evaluating the uh, your performance in today's examination. Please uh, watch our Smart Leaders IAS channel, online channel, for more videos and more discussions on the today's examination to be done by expert faculties in the Smart Leaders IAS. Thank you.